I'm the CIO at Avenade, and I'm here at the house of one of the guys on my team. His name's Adam Carter, and he's one of our local technology support leads. And he has an interesting lifestyle. He lives in a tiny house. Hey, Chris. Hey, Adam. Hey, you want to come on inside? Absolutely. All right. Adam, can you tell us a little bit about your house? Sure. It is a considered a tiny house. Uh, it is on a 9 by 18 trailer, which for scaling purposes, that's about uh, the size of a large parking space. Uh, it is 130 square feet. It's made from just the same materials that you would normally build any house, uh, but it is substantially smaller. <laughs> so what are some of the challenges in living in a 130 square foot house? Uh, well, the, the challenges are smaller but larger at the same time. Uh, I have to make sure that everything that I have uh, has a place and if it doesn't have a place or have a purpose it has to go. So tell me a little about the journey. How did you start from I'll say a more conventional living situation to uh, deciding you wanted to to build your own 130 square foot house? Living in apartments and renting or even owning a house I never quite felt that that feeling of, of uh, placement as it were. Um, I always felt like whenever I would move, there was, a, there was a feeling of, oh, well, I have to get used to this new place. Well, with a house on wheels, this is my home until I choose it not to be, and it doesn't matter where it ends up. It's always my home. So tell me about the process. How did you start, how did you start this journey? It started back in 2007. I saw an op-ed on the news uh, regarding a woman who had completely downshifted her life and moved into a house similar to the one that I'm living in and the differences that it made in her life and and how she viewed all of her stuff uh, it really resonated with me and uh, a year and a half later I, I decided to buy the plans and start building. Can you tell me about some of the things that you learned as you went through this process that you're able to apply to your your work life? Making sure that things go in the proper order uh, if you end up doing something before something else, sometimes it doesn't burn you. When you're building a house like this, uh, somet <laughs> sometimes you end up with a uh, compostable toilet on the wrong side of the wall. <laughs> so, Adam, you're a, uh, a single guy, young eligible bachelor. Uh, what do the ladies say when you bring them back to your 130 square foot house? There are usually uh, two responses. Uh, one is wonder and amazement. Uh, and the others are, uh, oh no, no, I could never live here. <laughs>